Hello, in this video, I'll try to demonstrate how to do a model and structural analysis or static analysis on a nose cone structure of a fuselage. I'll take the governing equation to be a parabolic equation, y is equal to x square. I'll take the height of the parabola to be a 4. To actually have the points plotted on the parabola, I've used an Excel sheet, I've used the formula. I have actually uh, taken a set of points on x axis 0, 0.1, 0.3, 0 0.6, 1, 1.2, and 2. 2 is actually to actually have y to be 4 because I have taken the height to be 4. So I have plot plotted the y coordinates. I will be plotting these points to actually have one side of a parabola. I will revolve this parabola about the axis, about an axis, to actually have the nose construction. How will I be doing this? I will be using ANSYS, References, Structural, CFK, Preprocessor, Element Type, Add Element or Delete, Add. I will be using Shell Elastic 4 node 63 to actually model this. I will say OK, Close. Shell will be actually taking a real constant and that would be its thickness. I will take it to be 0.1. Say OK, Close. Metal properties, metal models, structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. I'll take it to be 3 E7 and 0.3. Say OK. I'll take the density to be 1.23. I'll say OK. Close. Modeling, create key points in active CS. So I'll be plotting every of this point. I'll pause the video for a second and plot every point of every this point and I'll show you the video. I'll continue with it then. So the last point to be plotted as 2 comma 4. You say okay. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points. Um, I'll also create another point on the y-axis because I need to define the axis about which this line should be swept. I'll give it to be 0, 4. I'll say OK. So now, to actually create the parabola, I'll go to lines, plane, and plane through key points. So origin is 1, x2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll say OK. So there is your one sided parabola. I'll actually sweep this parabola about y axis. So, to do so, go to operate, extrude, lines, about axis. I'll select the, I'll select the parabola, say OK. And it is asking you to pick the two key points on the axis. So, I'll select the origin and the eighth point, say OK. Now, it is actually asking the arc length that is to be swept totally in 360 degrees or at some angle, I'll actually sweep it by 3 degrees and uh, it is asking the number of segments the parabola must be divided. I'll take it to be 4. Say OK. So your geometric model is complete. I'll now mesh the model. Go to mesh tool. As you have only one set of uh, element type, that is shell 63. Say OK. I'll actually give a control size. Select all the lines. Say OK and give the element edge length to be 0.1. I'll say OK. So uh, I'll select the mesh entities to the area. I'll go with quad and map. I'll go by 3 or 4 sides. Say mesh. I'll select the all the areas. Say OK. So you can see this, it is not square, but it is actually acceptable fine mesh. I've got it over there. Now, to do the model analysis, there is no need of applying any loads, but you need to constrain the model. I'll actually constrain the upper portion of the cone with all degrees of freedom. To do so, get into loads, define, apply, structural, displacement, on nodes, Go to box option, select all the nodes in the 
सफेद से ओके ऑल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम से ओके नाउ डू डू मॉडल एनालिसिस गो टू सॉल्यूशन एनालिसिस टाइप न्यू एनालिसिस मॉडल से ओके गो टू एनालिसिस टाइप एनालिसिस ऑप्शन सॉरी एंड गिव द नंबर ऑफ मोड्स टू बी एक्सट्रैक्टेड आई गिव इट टू बी फाइव से ओके and it is asking the starting and ending frequency i will leave it to answer saying okay now go to solve current ls say okay so the solution is done we close to plot the results go to general plot processor read results by pick you have five types of modes extracted and their respective frequencies you can select any one of it say read and close to plot it go to plot results counter plot null solution and you can have the displacement vector sum say okay so this would be one sort of a mode by which our deformation can occur on a nose cone structure to actually have a animated figure of this one go to plot control animate mode shapes and say okay so now you can actually see the animation of your mode shape so close to actually have other other types of mode also plotted you can go to read results by pick and select any one of it say read and plot it so now to do a static analysis static analysis on this cone i'll go to i'll apply some pressure on it go to load apply structural pressure on areas i'll select the i'll select all the areas give the pressure to be minus 50 that is it is acting inwards say okay close go to plot plot control symbols and uh, change show pressure and convert as to a arrows okay you okay. so can see that the pressure is actually acting into the cone the arrow is invert so you can now solve this sum go to solution current ls say okay, okay. So the solution is done. So close, close. To so actually have the results plotted, go to general plot processor. Go to plot results, normal solution, deform shape. Say okay. So this is a deform shape of the model analysis step. because we have not converted the solution analysis type go to new analysis say static say okay then now go to solve current ls say okay so before doing your static analysis please do change your analysis type to a static analysis the solution is done now this time we have done a static analysis on the problem Now to plot the results, go to plot general plot processor, counter counter plot, normal solution, deform shape, say okay. So this would be type actually your nose cone structure would deform. So to actually have so we'll meet in the next video. Until then, bye.